Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is JT from Above and Blow the Belt. I want to talk about Shane Mosley, what he said about Floyd Mayweather Jr. He said uh, Floyd Mayweather is so afraid to lose. And, um, well, I did some little, I did a little bit more. I did a little research and stuff like that. And uh, my opinion is on that is, uh, well, you know, I, yeah, I would say he was afraid to lose. I mean, I would think anybody, if you got a good record or whatever, and if you 20 something, because I think most fighters are like 25 years, I mean, 25 20, 20 some fights in and no losses and they, they, they and, and get to get to that you got to work your you got to work your ass off to get and to get to 20 some uh to get to 20 some uh wins and no losses at the same time and some whatever knockouts you have on your record and then to get to 50 of course i mean he got the fit well 49 well 50 whatever you want to call it because i say 49 and uh zeros and 27 uh chaos or 26 chaos whatever you want to call it that's what he has on his record but it's 20 50 it's 50 um it's 50 wins zero losses and 27 and 27 K, uh chaos knockouts on his record on his resume um to keep that he had he had a cycle he had to do he had to do a lot of things you know what i'm saying uh to accomplish that goal uh Strip training and and uh, routine that a lot of people uh, uh, probably did, but but not focus like Mayweather. Because uh, you know one thing is, um, um, you know, about losing at the same time. It's it it, it, it comes to dedication, man, and and, and of course picking uh, opponents. Uh, uh, um, you know, what I'm saying that uh, will give you a good challenge. Of course, are people who who you know probably. You know, because I think most, I think most fighters back then, even back then to the to back way back then, they, I think uh, a lot of people uh, was afraid to uh, not lose at the same time. You know what I'm saying? And a very few of them got that uh, accomplishment. Um, you know, what I'm saying uh, a zero loss on their record and then retire at the same time. But a lot of people didn't do it like Floyd Mayweather. I'm gonna say that he was a genius in the ring and outside the ring. And what I'm basically what I'm saying is, I think I know about the genius when I'm talking about inside the ring. But basically, what I'm talking about outside the ring, it's a business. It's like um, it's like rap uh, to a certain point. Um, not not just rap, entertainment, any entertainment, anything on 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 TV. It's basically ninety percent business, ten percent performance. You know what I'm saying? In in the ring, you see what I'm saying? So. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I say I will agree with Shane. Shane Moses, he was afraid to lose. I, I guess I, I, th I think a lot of people was afraid to lose. They don't want to lose, you know what I'm saying? But some people probably wasn't, you know what I'm saying? But and those people who wasn't afraid to lose did, of course, end up losing. But at the same time, this he trying. I think he's trying to discredit uh, Floyd Mayweather, make him look kind of, you know what I'm saying? Because I think uh, Shane Mosley was the only one. Well, I'm not gonna say the only one, but the but I say well, I say this: he was the only one to really hurt Mayweather in his 50 fights. He was the or 40 or 49 professional uh, boxing uh, fights, I would say, because I, I don't count that Conor McGregor one, but it's on his record, so that's why sometimes I count it, sometimes no. I mean, I'm counting it as it because it's 50, because it's there, but he's really 49 and zero and 26 uh, 26 uh, knockouts, but. But getting back to uh, uh, me agreeing with uh, Shane Mosley, him being afraid to lose, yes. And the thing about it is, you know, with um, he talking about this is what this is what uh, Shane Mosley said. Floyd is so afraid to lose. He grew up in a different era, and the era that I grew up up in, it was about who is in the best, and I will fight anybody in my way. In Floyd's era, it was about. We are not going to lose because if we lose, everything is going to be messed up. He wanted to win so bad and keep his zero so bad that would that he would want wait until wait until the guys were in were at the right time, weight or age, past their prime, or even coming to coming in too young. Mostly, mostly told Fox Sports. Okay, let me tell you this. I'm gonna break it down a little bit with this. He says. Um, Floyd Mayweather grew up in a different era. Okay, uh, the thing about it is, y'all both was in the same era. You and uh, um, Floyd Mayweather and Shane Mosley. What is you talking about? And then you talking about the age difference. Of course, you forty seven years old today. He's forty one. That means when y'all fought, he was you was probably thirty five. He's probably twenty nine years old or something like that. 
But that's not, that's not, I mean, you know what I'm saying? I mean, a lot of fighters fight people who's like five years older than them, six years older than them. You know what I'm saying? I think Sean Bay, Sean Bay Mitchell was the oldest one. I think he's 48 years old today, I'm thinking. You know what I'm saying? Then when he fought Diego Corrales, they was about the same age. Diego Corrales was born in 1977. Uh, Floyd May was born in 1977. Oscar De La Hoya was born in 1975, I'm thinking. He's, 70, he's 45 years old today. Mayweather is forty one, so he was a, he was four years he was four years older than May, uh, May, Floyd Mayweather. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and then uh, then uh, Cotto was Cotto was thirty, Cotto Cotto is thirty eight years old. I'm thinking he's not forty, and uh, and 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 and, and uh, another person who, uh, of course, uh, Canelo Alvarez is twenty eight years old, twenty nine years old, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But they took the fights. I can, I can respect an older person to a certain degree to picking a fight, knowing that he probably can win. Maybe you know what I'm saying. But a lot of people was talking about Canelo's going to beat him up. You know what I'm saying? In that fight at the same time, they was going for Canelo to to a certain point because he was young, he was bigger, you know, he was stronger at the same time. Um, but 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 Floyd, Floyd Mayweather showed you that. It, 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 uh, styles make fights at the same time because you know me I, I i'm against older fighters fighting um um fighting younger fighters i mean of course the, uh, if the younger fighter beat the older fighter uh, you gotta give him credit because i mean he, he beat him of course but how much credit can you get a person it depends on how old the, how old the person is just like keith thurman's talking about fighting uh floyd mayweather you know what i'm saying he's 41 keith thurman is 30 i mean 30 I mean, he's 29 years old or something like that. I'm thinking like 28, 29 years old. I'm thinking like that's 11, 10 years difference. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> you know, because uh, I mean, I know Floyd Mayweather could have possibly could have fought him, but he was on his way out the door. He didn't want to look like uh, Sugar Ray Leonard getting beat up by uh, a younger fighter, and that's how you pass the torch. You know, Floyd Mayweather did his own way. You know what I'm saying? That's the thing. That's the thing. I think people are jealous of too. The Santel. Of course, he's making money. Everybody. Some people say he's the, great, the greatest of all time, and somebody say he's the greatest of his time. Which I believe that's that's true. But being the greatest of all time, then that that could be projective at the same time. You know what I'm saying? But um, but the thing about it is, he handled the business that he had to do. It was back to back, and 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 and, and uh, Manny, Manny Pacquiao's what forty? It's about to be forty. So he fought him. He fought him, uh, he was older than Manny Pacquiao. You know what I'm saying? He fought the fight that he had to fight to get to where he had to get to. You know what I'm saying? It was it was no it was a sub much it was a, such an age gap. You know what I'm saying? He fought him in their thirties and he was like twenty nine or thirty. You see what I'm saying? Oh, they was thirty five, he was twenty nine or thirty. He was either thirty two, they was probably thirty six or thirty five. You see what I'm saying? So the thing about it is, man, uh I don't know, Shane Mosley, man. I mean, he said something about he be uh, uh, he think Oscar De La Hoya is better than uh, 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 Floyd Mayweather Jr. You know what I'm saying? And which you know that's not that's not the truth. Um, the first first of thing first of and the second thing about it, Shane, Shane Mosley beat uh, Oscar De La Hoya, so he wanted to put Oscar De La Hoya over Floyd Mayweather because they make him make himself feel good, make him make himself feel like he the man because he haven't beat the man, which is Floyd Mayweather Jr. He lost. And he didn't lose. He lost. He lost concisely. It was even. It was even close. He hurt him in a. He hurt him in a. In one round, you know what I'm saying, or in a couple of rounds. But that was it. Other than that, Floyd Mayweather outboxed him. But see, you know one thing about Floyd Mayweather, y'all. Y'all gotta understand this. Floyd Mayweather. He was. He was pretty boy Floyd. He was knocking people out. But one thing about fighters, they routine in the gym, and. His next chapter, which is money, 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 money Mayweather, money Floyd Mayweather, whatever you want to call him, he had to change up because when he went up on weight, um, he had to, um, he know him knocking out people was gonna uh, diminish. It wasn't gonna be. He probably would have been if he was still had that bad tape. Probably would have had more knockouts on his records. But he went into money Mayweather. He was um, so he was kind of careful a little bit at the same time. Uh, you know. Um, you know how he fight people. You know what I'm saying. Of course, at the same time, I think he he did a little cherry picking a little bit at the um. You know what I'm saying with you know 
Andre Brodo and I mean, especially with Conor McGregor at the same time, which I don't count that. But I get, but see, but the thing about it is, I don't mind if a fight. I don't, I don't, I don't care what color you are. You when you get to 38, 37 years old, 39 years old, and you fought the people you had to fight, you go cherry pick all you want after that. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? That's like this tension fight. It was an exhibition. And he went to get the 9 to 10, 11, 12 million. You know, you know, I don't know how much he really got, but he got millions of dollars. I ain't, I ain't mad about that. People talk about they want him to fight Keith Thurman. Or he want to fight Errol Spence. He ain't going to do that. He didn't fight Keith Thurman then when he was 30, I think 36, 37 years old at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Come on now. He's on his way out the door. He ain't going to do it now. Canelo Alvarez, y'all y'all will have to pay him. That's like he, that's like his name right now, for money Mayweather. You gotta pay him. If you want him, he's and everybody talking about uh, Canelo Alvarez is the uh, cash cow. Yes, he is a cash cow, but he's not the best fighter in the world right now. The best fighter in the world is Terence Crawford. You know what I'm saying? And when Floyd Mayweather was the cash cow, he was the best fighter in the world. You know what I'm saying? So I don't care what nobody say. Can uh, Floyd Mayweather will be the A side if he fight Canelo Alvarez. I don't care what you say, cause he he beat Canelo Alvarez, and he's he was a cash cow then, and he he be the cash cow now to a certain point, to a certain point, because he is he is older at the same time. But I think he still be A side because y'all calling him out. He ain't calling y'all out. He basically been there, done that. You know what I'm saying? That chapter is over with. Y'all got to move on at the same time. But um, and he said um. Shane Moore said he he waited he waited until the right time to go in there and do what he had to do to do, but still he's a winner and he wants to win whenever it takes. He's that's not in his ring, that not just in his ring, but outside the ring. I think he just wanted to be the only person to have the zero and leave out like that to be the only one. He made a lot of money, but I think the sport has came back around where we see good fights. The sport haven't came back around to a certain extent. It haven't came back around. Now, in 2018, I think two, two. I mean, 2018, uh, Tyson Fury fight was good. Maybe a couple other fights was good too at the same time. But this year might start it's starting off good with, uh, you know, um, Keith Thurman, Lopez, uh, um, uh, Javante Davis, or Abner Mares, and um. Earl Spence Jr. and, and uh, Mikey Garcia. Starting off, starting off right. I think this year's gonna be better than 2018. Um, but it's still, it's still got the fight. It still got to get better because people out there still don't want to. I think one thing, another thing is, I'm gonna tell you this. Floyd Mayweather influenced a lot of fighters out there to own their own promotional companies. I mean, of course, I think uh, Oscar De La Hoya started it to a certain point, but Floyd Mayweather took it to another, to a different level, y'all. You know what I'm saying? But everybody um, want their own promotional company. Like Errol Spence got the Man Down promotional company. And um, the, the Chalo Brothers got the Lions Only promotional company. And then uh, um, uh, uh, Deontay Wilder has, uh, I, I forgot the name of his, Bomb Squad uh, promotions, whatever. I think that's what it is, if I'm not, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. But, um, but the thing about it is, uh, some uh, some, people, some fighters have their own promotional companies, and I ain't mad at that, about that. And then some fighters so scared that they don't want to lose their zero, and they're not fighting the people. Now that's not on Floyd Mayweather. That's the that's the fighters in the in itself, because Floyd Mayweather fought the people that he had to fight. And y'all was pressuring him to fight Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao, he wanted to fight Manny. At first, he was kind of afraid. I remember he was talking how he was talking. He was talking kind of scared a little bit too. I would say for Floyd Mayweather. I ain't gonna lie about that, but. He, he then he said, you know what? Forget it. Fuck it. I'm a, let me fight him, cause you know how it, it can it can tarnish your uh, your your legs, your image at the same time. And he wanted to fight him. Manny Pacquiao was the one that didn't take the blood test. He didn't want to take the blood test, y'all. And then when and then when he wanted to fight Sh uh, Shane Mosley, Shane Mosley talking about his tooth. He had a tooth. Uh, he get got to get pulled or something. He had to go to the dentist. And then he had a, a vacation or something like that. He wanted to fight uh, Shane Mosley. Nobody stopped talking about that. He wanted to fight these fighters. These fighters didn't want to. They want to fight him, Chris Muhammad. Uh, uh, you know, uh, Shane Mosley didn't want to fight him. Uh, Manny Pacquiao, of course, I, I mentioned he didn't want to. Uh, didn't want to fight him at the time because he was his blood test. 
You know what I'm saying? Because of the blood test. I don't think many Pacquiao was scared of, uh, was scared of Floyd Mayweather. I, don't, I wouldn't say that. You know what I'm saying? But he didn't fight him at the time. I would definitely say that. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, a couple other fighters, you know, out there didn't want to fight him because of, because of, because of Floyd Mayweather's movement in the ring, man, his feet. You know what I'm saying? He got the hand speed, but his feet. You know, a lot of people, a lot of fighters got upper body. The upper body is good, but the lower body is not good. But you got some people got lower and upper body is okay. But you got some people got upper body is great and lower body is not great. But but one thing with Shane Mosey, pretty boy full had a upper body was great as in his, he had power. He was knocking out people and his footwork was great. His uh, lower body was great. Then when he came money, uh, uh, floor money Mayweather, his upper body was still oh it was it was okay. Uh, it because he, he went up, he changed, he changed. His, maybe he still could have knocked out people. I, I, I remember I said that, but he changed, he changed it to a different routine. You know what I'm saying? Which was the best way because he didn't. If he can't, if he, he, if he came in with that mentality, it's pretty boy floor. He probably would have got knocked out. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't stand in the middle there and try to get knocked out and get clipped. Because that's what will happen. You know what I'm saying? So, but getting back to Shane Mosley, where he's talking about um, different eras. That, yeah, both of y'all was in the same era, so I, I can't. I can't. You just talking shit now. Uh, he says. Uh, he says in Floyd era, it was about we're not going to lose. But y'all was in the same era. You know what I'm saying? He said everything is going to be messed up. He said, if we lose, everything's going to be messed up. He think that Floyd Mayweather probably say, was thinking that. But I don't think Floyd Mayweather, uh, you know what I'm saying, um, he probably was thinking that. But the thing about it is, and, but look what happened. He came out with a zero. You know what I'm saying? So, but what do y'all guys think about can, uh, uh, Sean, I mean, Shane Mosey talking like this? Different era. He got people at the right time, weight and age, different. Now, the weight, now, I probably, I probably agree with that. You know what I'm saying? But the age, that's something that you really can't help. I mean, but the thing about it is he didn't fight people like 10 years older than him, 11 years older than him, like nine years. Well, well, nine years, I think should be okay. Maybe eight years, maybe, maybe. But it depends on how the fighter fight at the same time. But, but you know how, I, you know how I think about older fighters fighting younger fighters. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But how much credit can you give a fighter if, a, if, if the younger fighter beat the older fighter? And if the older fighter beat him, could, be dominate him, knock him out. Then you'd be like, well, his age. Then if the older fighter gave him some go, that would discredit the younger fighter. But that, you know, what I'm saying so. That's how that's how people think too at the same time. So, but what do y'all think about Shane Mosley talking like this? Leave a comment at the bottom of my page. Subscribe to my page. Like my page. Hit the notification. New videos for me. This is JT from Bum Blow the Belt. Bye right, bye.